Today is exciting because we get a chance to follow up on the machine that we remediate all the vulnerabilities and we're down to the last critical vulnerability on this machine. And so today we're going to go through the remediation process to get that off. I'm going to scan again and come back with the next video and we'll follow up and start remediating the high severity vulnerability. So if you want to learn vulnerability scanning, this is the video. This is the channel. Subscribe to my channel. I won't let you down. I promise you. I'm teaching you all the enterprise of the things we do actually in cybersecurity to secure companies. But before we get started, just want to thank Cybertar. Cybertar actually provided us access to the Timbo tenant, which is where we get our vulnerability scanning information. So go to cybertar.ai, sign up for a free trial. You get a free external vulnerability scan and lots more just by signing up for the free services. But if you do need your vulnerabilities remediated, your IT department or your MSSP or whoever's not doing the job, contact Cybertar. Let us serve you. I'm telling you, you see I'm doing it on the channel. So if I'm doing it on the channel, you know I'm doing it on the job. Well, at least, you know, in theory, you would think I would. So, and I am, by the way. So anyway, don't forget to go to Cybertar to AI and check us out. So now the thing is, I'm going to look at here. And so let's go ahead and get into this zoom mode. We're going to, I'll try to keep zoomed in as much as possible. So you can see right now, we got all these vulnerabilities on this machine. And so a lot of them are, are similar. So I'm excited because this is what I'm going to do. We're going to start to get a lot more bang for our buck. So it's sometimes remediating 15 vulnerabilities is one action. You do one thing, it remediates 15 vulnerabilities. But well, we're going to be taking a look at .NET Core 5017. Now, I will tell you what this video I'm about to show you. This is one of the most prevalent vulnerabilities, one of the most prevalent critical vulnerabilities that I see throughout multiple companies. Just about everybody has this. And think about it. I'm working on a personal machine here, and this even had .NET Core. So it doesn't mean you got to be a developer or something to have this vulnerability. It's like literally everywhere. Some program, some point needed this and it installed it just about everywhere. So we're gonna get rid of it. So we see the profile path here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be showing you a second part. So learning this too, I'm gonna to be in Sentinel-1, which is gonna be our, our endpoint detection product, but it also got, allows us to do what's called a remote shell. And so that means I can remote into the machine and actually run PowerShell or shell script demands. PowerShell for Windows, shell script for Mac and Linux devices. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to go ahead. And so I know what this vulnerability shows. So it's right here. It's showing me .NET Core shared .NET 5017. Okay. I'm just going to, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to take the 5017 and I'm going to copy this. All right. It's off screen just a little bit, but basically I'm over here copying the 5017. Okay. And now I'm going to go back to Sentinel-1 and I'm going to run what's called a reg query command. Cause I want, what I'm essentially doing is I know there's a location in the registry where it has lots of information about how to uninstall lots of programs. And I've been able to identify one for 5017, so I'm gonna see if I can go to it today. So, so if, you, if you don't watch my previous videos, go back and watch this entire series because it builds on itself. So we're gonna do a reg query. And then the syntax, we gotta open double quotes in this H key local machine. If you don't understand the registry, you're going to have to put some work into because you got to understand like these basic IT functions, so, HQ local machine software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, uninstall. This is the most popular location on the Windows machine where uninstall files are located. Then I'm going to do a four slash F for find. I'm going to open my quotes right there and I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste 5017 and then I'm going to do four slash s to say search recursively now what I've done is I've actually searched the registry of the machine the registry is where many many settings for many many programs are housed for everything that's running on your machine or many things that happen on your machine the registry is where all that settings and connections are made and stuff like that but what it shows me is it gives me a few locations but does it give me an uninstall command there's location but see, it doesn't show me what I'm looking for, which is going to be an uninstall command. So I'm going to change this up. And there's a location in the registry called wow something 34 64. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to open registry editor. So right click in registry editor, going to run as administrator. And I'm going to see if I can locate this. So let's pull the registry over here. Okay. So HQ local machine software, Microsoft. Oh, actually, I, it's not there. So HC local machine, is it sys? No, it's software. And then I think it's wow sys. Nope, actually it's right there. Wow 6432 node. That's what I'm looking for. 
So AC Love Machine Software, Wild 36, 432 Node, Microsoft, Windows, current version, uninstall. Okay, this is the path I'm looking for. I'm gonna smooth copy the end of this, right? Just this part, okay? And I'm gonna modify my command to send to one here. So I'm gonna erase this out. And really, I don't need to erase the whole thing. I just need to add after software while 6432 node. So let's do that. And if you notice, it's not case sensitive. So while 6432 node backslash. If I do that, I also got some additional information. And if you look, one of the things I got, and this is what I'm looking for. So these are multiple keys in a registry. So once again, take some time to research registry, but this is an uninstall command. So C code and program data cache, it gives me this location right here and then it's forward slash uninstall. So I can work with this. So I can literally take this. Don't want that. Let's, let's go ahead and clear that out, okay? So I'm gonna take this command and let's go ahead and I'm gonna move this up so, so you can see this a little bit better, okay? All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna copy this. This is the actual uninstall command. And I simply want to go to paste this and reformat it in PowerShell format. So PowerShell, in order to execute this command, I have to type start tag process, tag meaning minus. Okay, start process, C colon program, and then I got the path to it. And then the slash uninstall is what's called a man command. So I just have to do a tag argument. And this is the where you put the commands that are passed to the program that you're calling. So the program that I'm calling is wow60.net runtime 5017 right here. That's the actual program that I'm calling the executable. And then these are the commands I'm passing on to the executable to get it to run. Now, one thing I would like to see is, oh, I'm missing something. So I, here's the one right here. That's the uninstall command, but here's the one to do it silently. So it's, lit, it's literally the same thing, but I need to add a slash quiet on the end of that. So let's do slash uninstall slash quiet. Now, in order to validate this, uh, I'm gonna copy this command before, and we wanna show that the command is actually there after we, we run it. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put this in notepad, put that on ice for just a second, make sure we can come back to it. And then I'm going to change to this, this folder and verify that the file is actually there. The funny thing is, these, these things that you're seeing on the channel, these are the things that I actually take back and work with many, many customers and do the same thing. So either I'll find it out at work or I'll find it out when I'm playing, uh, doing one of these videos. You know what I'm saying? So I always stress personal development. You have to be doing some things outside of your job if you're going to grow and progress in the field. All right, so a couple of things I see here. All right, I had double quotes there, so I got to get rid of that. And then see how I got these? This is disconnected, so that should be, there should be no spaces here. So sometimes when you copy and paste, you have to go back and fix it. Now, I can tell right there, I backspace one time too much. It should be 4980, so I'm going to go ahead and fix that. All right, so that's basically CD stands for change directory, and I'm changing to the directory. I'm going to do a DIR, and I should see this executable file. Right there. So there's a .NET runtime that I'm actually referencing in this uninstall command here. There it is here. This is me actually showing the files in that folder and showing you that it lives there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my command and you got to clean it up a little bit because once again, uh, sometimes when you copy these things, it will put you know returns and line breaks and stuff like that extra spaces. So I clean it up in notepad and now I'm going to paste it here. So this is the command going to run and I'm going to execute it. All right. So it's not recognized. So I have a typo. So there it is right there. So no issue right there. Instead of star, I guess instead of start, I have star process. So now I'm going to run the command again. Okay. It ran. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to keep calling this. But sometimes I notice these will take a while. So we're going to keep running this a few times and then just going to be basically watch let this finish executing and we'll see what we get and look at here just like that 
when I do the director command, guess what happens? There's nothing there. I'm gonna go up one folder. All right, do a director command. So you see I have many of these folders, but the one I'm looking for in particular is this one. So let's see if the folder even exists anymore. So CD and we'll paste that again. So now you see I can't even change it to that folder because the folder is actually gone at this point. So that's it. So that being the case, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Tenable and I'm going to execute the scans to scan this environment again. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to do that in Tenable. Because what you want to do is when you remediate a vulnerability, you need to validate that it's gone. So I'm going to go to Tenable, click on scans, and then I'm going to run. This is, let's see, technology interpret, interpreters basic agent scan. I'm going to click here on the right side. Let's move this over. Sorry, so you can see this. So right here, I'm going to click here and launch. That's going to start a new scan that's going to run. And a lot of times scans can run anywhere from, you know, 30 minutes to sometimes up to three, four hours. So we're going to let this run. But when we come back to tomorrow's video, we'll know if we actually success successfully remediate the vulnerability and we'll begin working on the next one. I strongly encourage you to come back because what's cool is we're going to be working on Windows app vulnerabilities. These are actually pretty different. So this is going to be the first time I've done this on the channel. So the ones, this is basically us being able to uninstall some programs to actually live in a Windows app store. So we're going to have to find out ways to do that. And this comes in handy because now you'll be able to know how to uninstall things using, you know, you know, whether you use a registry to find uninstall string, how to execute the uninstall string, how to do it remotely, and now how to uninstall Windows apps on the machine. So if this video was helpful, uh, I really need you to, for those of you, if this was helpful, I want you to type 5.0.17 in chat. 5.0.17, okay? That is the actual vulnerability that we just remediated, okay? So that being the case, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.